Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today's story is a Philippine folktale captured by Mabel Cook Cole. This is The Monkey and the Turtle. A monkey, looking very sad and dejected, was walking along the bank of the river one day when he met a turtle. How are you? asked the turtle, noticing that he looked sad. The monkey replied, Oh, my friend, I am very hungry. The squash of Mr. Farmer were all taken by other monkeys, and now I am about to die from want of food. Do not be discouraged, said the turtle. Take a bolo and follow me, and we will steal some banana plants. So they walked along together until they found some nice plants which they dug up, and then they looked for a place to set them. Finally, the monkey climbed a tree and planted his in it. But as the turtle could not climb, he dug a hole in the ground and set his there. When their work was finished, they went away, planning what they should do with their crop. The monkey said, When my tree bears fruit, I shall sell it and have a great deal of money. And the turtle said, When my tree bears fruit, I shall sell it and buy three varas of cloth to wear in place of this cracked shell. A few weeks later, they went back to the place to see their plants, and found that that of the monkey was dead, for its root had no soil in the tree, but that of the turtle was tall and bearing fruit. I will climb to the top so that we can get the fruit, said the monkey, and he sprang up the tree, leaving the poor turtle on the ground alone. Please give me some to eat, called the turtle. But the monkey threw him only a green one, and ate all the ripe ones himself. When he had eaten all the good bananas, the monkey stretched his arms around the tree and went to sleep. The turtle, seeing this, was very angry, and considered how he might punish the thief. Having decided on his scheme, he gathered some sharp bamboo which he stuck all around under the tree, and then he exclaimed, "'Crocodile is coming! Crocodile is coming!' The monkey was so startled at the cry that he fell upon the sharp bamboo and was killed. Then the turtle cut the dead monkey into pieces, put salt on it, and dried it in the sun. The next day he went to the mountains and sold his meat to other monkeys who gladly gave him squash in return. As he was leaving them he called back, Lazy fellows, you are now eating your own body. You are now eating your own body. Then. The monkeys ran and caught him and carried him to their own home. Let us take a hatchet, said one old monkey, and cut him into very small pieces. But the turtle laughed and said, That is just what I like. I have been struck with a hatchet many times. Do you not see the black scars on my shell? Then one of the other monkeys said, Let us throw him into the water. At this the turtle cried and begged them to spare his life. But they paid no heed to his pleadings, and threw him into the water. He sank to the bottom, but very soon came up with a lobster. The monkeys were greatly surprised at this, and begged him to tell them how to catch lobsters. I tied one end of a string around my waist, said the turtle. To the other end of the string I tied a stone so that I would sink. The monkeys immediately tied strings around themselves, as the turtle said, and when all was ready they plunged into the water, never to come up again. And to this day, monkeys do not like to eat meat, because they remember the ancient story. And that is the Philippine folktale of The Monkey and the Turtle. And I love these stories that explain things for us, things in nature. And this one is dark, and yet at the same time, sort of funny. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere that you like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio and TuneIn Radio, and you can always head over to folktaleproject.com 
where you'll find a new story waiting for you every weekday morning. Thanks for listening. The Folktale Project is also a proud member of the Blank for Non-Blank podcast network. Blank for Non-Blank is dedicated to making difficult subjects easier to understand. And you can head over to blankfornonblank.com where you'll find everything from linguistics to math, science, physics, debate, and folklore.